Hello everybody and welcome back to Satisfactory. Uh, yesterday's episode had a few things go wrong, so today we're a little bit more organised. Uh, we're going to, first of all, add all of our pipeline floor holes. Uh, and then we're going to connect the pipes up as well, so let's just add that to the to-do list. And then we're going to add the splitters, connect the splitters, etc. But yeah, we're going to start with the floor holes in each row, and it's going to be directly in line with the one before it. So where is it going? Okay, it's going just on the back end of each. Row. Okay, that's fine. So we can do that very quickly. We're going to go down each row and just connect them all up. Uh, so we put the pipes in and we won't have any more disasters like yesterday where the pipes won't connect to the machines because they're too uh, close. So we should be fine this time. So we're all the way down to the end of the row. We must be near the end now. Uh, I have actually placed all 64 generators. As you can probably tell, the, the line goes far back. Uh, that doesn't need to be there. So we're going to do the same on this side. I think that should connect, but we'll just check into there. Yep, perfect. So we're going to keep it in the same spot all the way along. I think it's there, is that right? Nope, it's there. And then we can connect all the pipelines. And that will be the first thing. Well, almost the first thing done off of the list. Uh, except I'm going to do both sides of the power plant. And just do everything all at once. Obviously we're only going to connect up the machines that we're going to be using which for the time being is the first four on each row um, Okay, now we can move around to the next set So, place the hole Check that it works Yep, I think I can be a little bit closer though Might look a little bit nicer if we do it a little bit closer so can it go on the centre line? Will that work? Let's try it. Yep. So these can go onto the centre line all the way along. And we've run out of iron rods. That's fine. I can go grab those and be right back. Okay, so I went and got more rods and then connected the floor holes for this last set of generators. Uh, so now we can cross off that first item on our to-do list and we can now add the pipelines onto each machine. So we're using noodle mode uh, to build the pipes. Um, just because it's the one that looked the best when I was talking around with it earlier. Oops. It would be great if I would get some of these in place easily though. There we go. There. There we go. So we're just going to go to each and every machine and just connect its pipeline. Into its, into its liquid intake hole, basically. Nice and easy. There we go. And that one. So each one is having, will have its water fed directly into it, basically. Uh, 
There we go. Go the next one. And so we've got two more rows to go. I've just connected one of these straight into the machines. And then we've got the splitters to do. So let's go and connect the pipes on this side as well. There we go. That one. I could do both sides at the same time, I suppose. Might make things a little bit quicker on the way back and forth. These are a little bit further away from the machines than they are on the first side, but it doesn't really matter. They're going in, that's the important thing. So each machine will be getting its water and we'll be feeding the coal in shortly. Now what I want to do, once we've got the coal all hooked up, is turn on the um yeah before long we'll be turning on the miners so that these guys can fill up the coal before they actually start producing power just so that everything will run a little bit more smoothly. Now, splitters. Why have I got no cable? I can't win today. Uh, so what I'm going to do is create a storage box somewhere, probably over here. And I'm going to go and grab a load of cable. Okay, cable collected. So, we should now be able to put, that's not what I wanted, our splitters in place. I, how do I not have, right, that's why. Okay, splitter, and it's going to be coming in from that side. There we go. And we're going to put these all the way along for all of the generators in each row. So for this row, it's going to go here. We're going to go down these one row at a time as well, I think. So we'll do one row, connect up the belt, send everything. Um, and then another row, connect up the belts and everything, and basically do it that way. Uh, one more. Okay, so we'll connect this belt up because this one obviously doesn't have a splitter. Why do I not have rods now? Okie dokie. I forgot to put up the rods. I'm not doing very well this episode, but it's fine. So let's grab some rods real quick as well. So, we can connect that one into there. Connect that up, connect that up, so that's one, two. Three and that's one of four. So now we're not connecting the two splitters together anymore, we're just connecting the splitter to the machine. Splitter to machine. Splitter to machine. And we're just going to do that all the way down. So basically what's going to happen is the coal is going to come down in a manifold system through each coal generator and power on each one as we upgrade belts and everything and connect more machines to the system. One, two. And move that to there. Perfect. Now we're going to basically do the same again, but we're going to sort of do it in reverse because it's just going to be a bit easier. So we'll do it like that, 
is that too close to that pipeline, or is it okay? It's fine. One, two. Put it in. Put it into this. Um, let's okay. I'll do the belts afterwards because it's just going to be a bit too tedious to keep doing it. Split around the belt at the same time. There we go. There we go. That one. Perfect. That's the next one. Good. Okay. There. There. And finally there. So now if I connect these up to their machines, I connect the first four, so one, two connected, three connected, and four connected. And then these ones just have to be connected up to their machines. Um, so that all the machines are connected up properly. And it'll be nice and easy to just add more machines when we need to. Okay, so that's all of those done. And now we need to go and do the other side. So that they're all done. So these four will be the first four to power on, or these eight, sorry, and then these eight will also power on slightly afterwards because the coal on this side, this side's got slightly further to go. Uh, nope, logistics splitter. So we'll have it there. There. wrong because it's my seat on the other side as well so I know that's wrong. There we go, now it's right. Perfect. That's the next one. There we go. Next. Next. This one into the machine. One, two, and connect all of the machines into there. Connect all the splitters up to the machines on the side. Apologies. It sort of lags a little bit sometimes when it's saving, uh, especially when I'm in an area that has a lot of machines. So there's two, three machines, and four machines all connected to each other. And now we can grab the splitter again and just start placing these. So that the next line gets connected. So 
So I'll see what I'm doing this time. One, two. Yeah, there. Taking the force four generators. Okay, so now we need to connect the coal lines into each machine. So to do that, I'm gonna have to move this box. Uh, bit, 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 bit. Wait, can I move it till? I think it's behind this machine. I can get rid of that and that and that. For now, so I should be able to just pick up everything that's in that box. Yes. Okay. So we're going to take this bottom line and we're going to drag it to there. One, two. And turn it in. Now we're going to have to add the stackable, con stackable conveyor poles. One, two, and three. And one, two, and three. And I'm going to connect all of the lines up as well. So, one, well, why did I start with the bottom one? Now that's going to make my life really awkward. Always start at the top by using stackable poles. Well, I know this. Why am I doing it backwards? There we go. And the third one. And then basically that second line is going to come down here. And it's going to go one, two. And connect it to there. The third line is going to come along. And it's going to make sure it's not clipping. It's going to come along to there. And there's going to be a step of walking very far on there. Which is going to come to there. And then we can connect these up to their machines as well. So one, two, three. Conveyor pole. One, two, and then one, two. And that's all connected up there as well. And now we need to add another conveyor pole there, and another conveyor pole there, and connect these guys all up together. So, one, and two, and then it's going to come down. Okay, it doesn't go in there nicely, so we're going to go one, two. And in. So that's all of the coal lines now hooked up and going into their respective machines. Okay. 
next is the power lines. So I guarantee we're going to need way more stuff than what we've got in our inventory. Uh, let's check. It's going to go, where is it going to go? Okay, it's going to go on this corner of each machine. Yeah, so we're missing wire. So let's just grab a stack of wire, that should be more than enough. Nope, go on. And it's going to go on this corner of each machine. So just in the practice between each and every machine, we're going to place the power poles. Like so. Oh. And I'm happy with the placement of that one. And there. There. One there. One there. One there. Now, for this side, it's going to go on the joints in the front of the machines. Um, because the back end of the machines are touching the second row, or the third row, sorry. So, we're going to go in front on this row. going to go in the front because the back ends of the machines are all touching and there's no space for it there. So it's going to go there, one there, one there, one there, one there, which is the same all the way down. Yeah, so how long is my next one up? There we go. And this one goes there. And then on the last row, it's going to go on the back end again. Uh, so if we look, we can see where it is. So it's going to go on this corner. Of the first four of all sets, all four uh, rows of machines. Only the first four because, again, we don't have enough coal to power them all. So this one's going to connect to there and connect into the first machine. Oops, no, that's wrong. Oh. 
that one takes the first machine, that one takes the second machine. This one is for the third machine, and finally, this one's for the fourth machine. I'm going to take this pole, I'm going to bring it to here, and then to there. That's the first machine, second machine, third, and fourth. So there should be one, two, three, and four connected. Are these making noise? Okay, so these can actually take fuel now, which I didn't realise that, that's fine. Which means if we turn on the uh, miners, they will start filling up with coal. So that goes to one. That's two. That's three. And that's four. Now this is going to connect to the back. This one's a little bit different. So it's going to go to there and connect to the first one. To the second one. To the third one. And finally to the fourth one. And so we've got the first four machines on each of the four rows hooked up. Which basically means we are essentially done on this top floor. Um, I'm just going to grab, try and grab the contents of my storage box. It's not going to work so I'm going to grab the storage box and I'm going to place it down there. I jump down here. Store all of that. And then I can come back up and delete the storage box like that. So this whole floor now is essentially done until we turn it all on. The last thing I want to do before the end of the episode is literally just get rid of these four or these eight um, water extractors. We can come back to those later. So we added the power poles and that completes the to-do list. So, have we got any biomass? No. No, no biomass. So, basically we need to add then um, our 16 extractors. So that we can start putting those out. Is it 16? No, it's 32, sorry. Uh, so let's just add those. So we can start placing those in the next episode.